there, today I'm going to be going over a demo of our software specifically for storefronts or shops. So this is going to be your home screen. You can search for customers by first name, last name, pet's name, phone number, or just the last four digits of the phone number. You can also add in new customers from this page as well. I'm going to jump to our calendar screen. So you'll see you have a couple options on the bottom, home, today, calendar, checkout, and more. So I'm just going to tap on calendar. Once you've tapped on calendar, you'll be able to see a schedule with all of your groomers. You can see how many pets your groomers can take at the top. So for example, Nick has one pet scheduled out of five, Becky one out of 12, Michael one out of seven. This is all customized depending on the time you take pets. To schedule an appointment, all you have to do is either tap on all to schedule with any of your groomers or tap on a specific groomer to schedule. So for example, I'm going to be tapping on Nick. I can see the slots he has available. So he has two at eight o'clock, one at 12 o'clock. He had blocked out all the other slots for the day. So you know exactly where to book these pets. So I'm gonna tap on the eight o'clock time slot. I'm gonna tap on that plus button. By tapping on that plus button, I will have the option to schedule an appointment. I can either search for an existing customer, create a new customer, or view the wait list. I will be putting in a new customer. To create a new customer, all you have to do is enter in first name, last name, comma, pet's name, comma, and then any additional pet's names. So I'm gonna be entering myself, first and last name, comma, and then I'll put in Bella and Spike. So the system is gonna know this is the customer and the customer's two pets. Every time you put a comma, it will recognize an additional pet. So if one customer had five pets, you can continue to do the same thing just by putting in these commas and spaces. Once you have entered in first and last name and your pets, you'll want to tap on the done button. Once you tap on that done button, it'll give you the option on which pets you want to schedule. So I could tap on just Spike or Bella and Spike if I want to schedule both. If I forgot to add in any pets, I could always tap on that plus button in the right corner. Otherwise, I'm gonna tap on go. So this appointment has now been set up. To confirm this appointment, all I have to do is tap on this that confirm button if I'm in a rush. If you have an opportunity to get some more information from this new client, we highly suggest that. So for example, Underneath Bella's name, there's a dog tab. You can tap on that dog tab and say Bella is a Shih Tzu. Now that I've added a breed to Bella, I can add a service and the system is going to know what we would charge our company for a small dog. As you can see in the top there, it says extra small breed with a long coat. So all of the prices are customizable and can be set to what you would charge for a small dog, large dog, extra large dog, or medium dog. So I'm going to charge $45 for my full groom. And just so you know, this price can be changed at any point and the customer will never see prices or notes that you put into the system. So if I wanted to change that price, all I would have to do is tap on that dollar sign. I can tap on that plus button or I can tap on the price in general and update that total. Those things are editable along the whole process of the grooming. So if you need to add any dematting fees, um, any additional specialty shampoos or anything like that, those can be added in. There's an option for a view history button. It'll always show the full pet's history, including any dates, times this pet was in, previous services, previous prices, and any photos. So make sure you use that view history button. You'll have a photo gallery for before and after photos. If you need to take any pictures before the pet's groomed to show that the pet had a rash or something like that, it'll show with a date stamp so you know when it happened. Tags are going to be anything specific you want to stand out on this appointment. Those are completely customizable and up to you. For example, you could tag this pet as a biter. Location identifier is going to be if you have a kennel system or use any type of kennel numbers. You can put in those numbers in the system. It will check to make sure that kennel is available and then assign the pet to that kennel. Color, again, completely customizable on how you would use color coding. Appointment notes are going to be specific for this one appointment. So if this pet is getting a short haircut in the summer and a long haircut in the winter, you'll always be able to see that under the view history button. Follow up notes will appear on the checkout screen. So this would be while you are grooming the pet, 
If there was anything wrong with it or anything the customer needed to know, you could put the notes there and that would pop up when you're checking out. That way, if somebody different's checking out or just in case you don't wanna forget, you'll be able to see those notes. You'll have all the same options for your second dog. So I can tap on that same dog tab underneath Spike. Say he's a St. Bernard. Now, once I go to add a service to him, that price is gonna be a little bit more because it knows what we'd be charging for larger breeds. And he'll have all those same options too. Again, all editable along the appointment. So I'm gonna tap on confirm. I'll now have the option to automatically contact my customer. So we will send a confirmation right when they're booked in. And again, a text reminder the day before. Text reminders go out anywhere from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. your local time. So I'm gonna tap on the automatic contact button. And since this customer is new, it's gonna ask me for a phone number. So I can put in a phone number. And once I tap on done, this appointment is all set. Like I said, if you were in a hurry, you could tap on confirm and just add that phone number and get the rest of the information later. But just to show you what those text messages look like, I can tap on that appointment, tap on chat, and now I'm gonna see what that appointment looks like. I can see my appointment was scheduled for that day and time, and I can click the link below to make sure my pet information is correct. So if I tap on this link, it'll pull me up to the customer's profile. So this is what the customer sees. I can see my first name, last name, phone number. If I tap on edit, I can also enter in this information. So address, email, home phone, or work phone. I can also say you didn't have the opportunity to add in breeds. I could tap on my pets here and I can make sure that breed is correct or add in a breed for the groomer. So just so you know, texting is two ways. So I can always text my customer and they can text me. You will get notifications in the app keeping track of all this as well. So now these appointments are set for the 29th at eight o'clock. I can see the customer's name, pet's names, um, the services they requested and who the groomer is. So I'm gonna now jump to the today screen, and this is gonna be a list of your customers per day. You'll be able to see if anyone's checked in, being worked on, or coming today. You'll also be able to see if they're late. So to check your pet in, all you have to do is tap on that name. You can see all of their information, and like I said, tap on check-in. Now you can see the time they were checked in at, who the groomer is, pet's breed, pet's first name and last name. If you need to edit any of this information again, tap on that pet's name, edit that information, add in notes, add in tags, whatever you need to add in. Once you're ready to get started on this pet, all you'll have to do is tap on that start button. Each pet will move, be moved over separately since each pet gets started at a separate time. So once I'm ready to get started on Spike, I'll tap on Spike's name and tap on start. Now both of these pets are being worked on. As soon as you have finished up with one of these pets, again, you'll come back to the screen, tap on that pet's name and tap on finish. You can always change that price at any time. As mentioned, you can add photos. You can add a profile image by tapping on that pet icon. But as soon as you're done, tap on finish, and that one pet has now been finished. We will automatically contact the pet parent for you as soon as these appointments are ready to go. So since Bella's still being worked on, we're not gonna contact that pet parent yet. But as soon as Bella has been marked as finished, we'll have the option now to send them an, a phone call and a text message. So it's just verifying that these prices are correct. We have added in a new feature called Pay Ahead, which will allow your customer to pay through text message. So I'm gonna tap on automatically contact. And now that person is gonna get an automatic phone call and a text. If you would like to hear this phone call or see this text message, you can view it on our website. So. Once that phone call has been made, or maybe the client didn't pick up, it will leave them a voicemail. If you wanna personalize any of this, you can always um, record your own message. Keep that in mind. Any text messages that are sent out to your customer can be personalized. Otherwise, now we'll move over to the checkout area. 
So these are gonna be all of your pets that are waiting for payment. If they paid with our pay ahead feature, it will show as paid. So I'll let you see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna view our text here and I'm gonna tap on this link that was sent to this customer to pay, just so you guys can see it. I can now see the price for Bella, the price for Spike. I can see what services they got. This is all customer facing. So this is what they to see. They can choose a tip amount, and after they've chosen a tip amount, they can tap on next. And they will be able to place an order. So it'll show as paid in your system. This is all powered through Square. They can put in a card number. They can pay through Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Samsung Pay. As mentioned, if they paid with one of those options, it will show paid in the system. Otherwise, if you tap on that pet's name again or customer's name, you can tap on that pay button and it will allow you to accept cash, check out with Square Register in person, send an online payment form, which is just going to send them another text message allowing them to pay with a contactless method or take a check. So if we could select cash for this appointment, and as soon as this appointment's been paid for, you'll have the option to enter in any tips. Let's say this particular person tipped cash, $5. You can save that and now you'll get an accurate report of that. If there is an email set in the system, it will send them an email receipt. There is an additional feature for a review request. So we can choose to text this client after their appointment asking how the groomer did. And if it's a positive review, it'll push to your Google, Yelp, or Facebook. If it's a negative review, it'll come straight back to you in chat. So that is a helpful feature. Otherwise, there is no upcoming appointments for this client. If you tap on schedule now, you can select however many weeks out that you would want, or you can send a reminder in six weeks. When your client gets that reminder text, it will also include a link to your online booking page. Your online booking page will look something like this. Have your company name at the top. Your customer can put in their phone number. If they already have an existing account with you, it'll pull up their first and last name and pet's names. If they don't have an existing account with you, it'll make them fill out some additional information, they'll be able to request an appointment day, a time, and then this page will show them that appointment is pending approval. You as a groomer will always have power over your schedule. Your customers will only see that appointment as pending, so you can choose to confirm that appointment through the app or deny the appointment. If you need any help, there is also the more tab right here. You can tap on more and you can scroll down to Groomer.io. If you tap on Groomer.io, you'll have the option to contact support.